I feel like weight loss is a side effect of getting healthy. Just being healthy, period. Mm -hmm. Just If your goal is to just be healthy, the weight loss falls into it. Welcome this week to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. And I'm Crystal. We have a great show for you today. It's sort of a part two, but you don't have to worry. Sometimes you, you worry because when the season comes out of the new sequel, you're like, I part one. did I forget? <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. you always like movies when you go right. see them when right. it stands alone. So this will be a standalone, but it is, uh, if you want to go watch our, our shows on YouTube, you can find them on, uh, and on our website, The Naked Doctor show.com so a little plug for some of our fun <laughs> stuff we do and we'll share some more of those at the end with you we definitely want you to stay tuned till the end because we have three we're going to wrap this up in a big pretty bow at the end three things that, that you want to focus on to live your best life be your best way go with your best health be sustainable be sustainable and that's the important thing most of all we like to make this easy right Take the struggle out of it. Take the struggle out, <laughs> yes. Um, sexy without suffering, I like to say. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, and Crystal is uh, competitive uh, with weightlifting now and also does private coaching mm -hmm. and working with clients and things like that. Right. So you're still taking new folks. I do have a few spots for some new clients. So a little, a few spots. A few they're spots. they're rotating in and out. I actually have one that's leaving for a few weeks because she has surgery. So okay. that's that's a good spot open. All right. <laughs> good. Well, my son slid into one of them. He did. So. He did two of them. I got two I got slides. I got okay. him twice okay. a week okay. now. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. Well, we're going to talk about that process too yes. because he's super stoked and <laughs> I'm super excited about that too. So today is all about how the uh, bodybuilders and the people in the fitness world cut weight fast, and it's crazy because some of those people can we don't want you to do this, but can lose 15 <laughs> pounds in a day. Yeah. So it's doable if you've ever thought, oh my gosh, it's just too hard to lose weight. You just have to know the nerdy science. You have to know how it works and how to do it. So we're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back with The Naked Doctor and we have just such exciting things today. So stay tuned. When I was about 50 years old, I started gaining weight. I never suspected hormones. I didn't know what it was. I tried to cut back on eating. That really didn't work. Um, and when I was about 58, I came home from work one day and my husband had watched Dr. Tammy on television. He had never watched her before and was telling me about hormones and what she was talking about and how it played into weight gain and suggested that I visit her. And that was August 2020 and I did. And we did some blood work and determined, she determined some hormonal issues and what we could try and what we needed to do and um, I tried that and along with her carb melt I took that and that was August 2020 and today two almost two years later I have lost 27 pounds and I feel great um, I get compliments people ask me what did you do and I always tell them about Dr. Tammy and the hormones and the carb melt. <laughs> it seemed to be um, very effective for me. And I followed her diet plan. She had a, a, a small diet plan that I could follow, and I did. And uh, I'm very happy. It's worked out great. Welcome back to Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. And I'm 
Crystal. We are talking today about getting fit, getting healthy, losing weight. And again, I always like to say, I don't want to be the weight loss doctor because I feel like weight loss is a side effect of getting healthy. Just being healthy, period. Mm -hmm. Just If your goal is to just be healthy, the weight loss falls into it. Mm -hmm. And it's not all about trying to be the airbrush girl in the magazine. It is really about what your goals are. So we talked about just before break that, you know, being in my 50s, I want agility. I don't want to fall and break a hip. You know, I want to be strong. I want my core to be strong. You know, I have so many patients who come that say their biggest goal is just to be able to get up off the floor without assistance of right. some type, you know. If Donnie wants to go fishing, you can go hiking through the woods with him to find mm -hmm. a river and go fishing. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be able to do that kind yeah. of stuff. And yeah, and we do. And that's really important. And so when, you know, when he you know, it's, doesn't understand when I need to take time to work out, which I, which I always have, you know, and so even when he was little, he'd be like, mommy, you know, come right. and do this. And I'd be like, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for two. <laughs> right. And so I think that education starts with our children because we want what's best for them. Oh yeah. And when we're help, helping them make healthy decisions, you know, we're talking about the theater and him wanting icy, you know, right. and it was like, Really, we need to retrain ourselves to teach ourselves that that parental guilt that we carry about not letting them have those treats is really the love we're showing them because we want them to have better health. Exactly. We're wanting them to not have damage control when they are adults and mm -hmm. they decide it's gone too far. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We need to teach that balance now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be yes. It doesn't always have mm -hmm. to be yes. That's great. <laughs> I did remind him we are having popcorn. You know? Exactly. So, yes, uh, we are already yeah, having a treat. We're we are already having, having, having popcorn, and mm -hmm. it's already got salt and butter all over it. We're good. Yeah, you know it doesn't mean? have to be the icy and the licorice and all exactly. those things. Exactly. Exactly. With my clients, we always talk about where our struggle is. What is your struggle? Is it sweets after ten o'clock at night? Is it you're an Video emotional games. eater? <laughs> is it you know what I mean? Out of just pure boredom, you pick up food. Is it you're so busy, all you can do is grab a handful of cheese? It's the pop tart out of the pantry you know what i mean where's your struggle mm -hmm. and donnie's was he just purely likes food he just mm -hmm. likes food mm -hmm. so we didn't even realize how easy it would be and that's what we talk about how easy it's been for him to switch into a healthier diet because it's just food mm -hmm. and he's still getting plenty of the food mm -hmm. so he's he's not struggling as far as the not having the cheeseburgers and the pizza all the time it's mm -hmm. the I have food and I'm not being deprived and mm -hmm. it's good food. That's yeah. the cool thing about today is that healthy food tastes good. Yeah. It's crazy. We're not yeah. just white rice and chicken anymore. We yeah. can have all the things now, you know what yeah. I mean? So you give him a few healthy options that taste good and he's totally satisfied and that's the best part. Just finding things that work for certain mm -hmm. people and his was his mentally, he just liked food. So let's switch the diet up and just give him some nice healthy food. This you know? looks delicious. I want to eat this right now. It this is, is so good. Amazing. I literally had it for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about this because it just keeps staring at me here. Okay, so this is just a, one of my examples of nice healthy food. So I'm um, sure if I gave this to Donnie, he would love it. Oh, he would just it. gobble it. Love it. Mm -hmm. So this is like five ingredients. It's a sweet potato quiche. I love quiche, but then I was eating it the other day. Other day and I thought how can I make this a little bit better for me I'm gonna make the crust out of sweet potato probably the best move I've ever made it's so delicious it's ridiculous mm -hmm. so the crust is sweet potato and then I have a carton of eggs and the meat is the 99% fat free ground turkey I mean come on we don't get more lean protein than that so we've got eggs in the protein we've got meat in the protein we have sweet potatoes and then I cut up two bell peppers and layered it at the bottom so you got your veggies in there. I mean, it's the easiest little five ingredient breakfast to and what have. Do we, what do we, our excuse, we say time. Time. I made this on Sunday. I cut it up into seven pieces. I put it in the thing because my biggest thing is breakfast. I'm so busy in the morning. So when I'm meal prepping, I make sure I meal prep my breakfast to start my day off right. You want to start your day with protein. Protein is where you want to start your day. So I make sure my breakfast is a high protein and that's going to taper me throughout the day and make me eat less carbs and calories throughout mm -hmm. the day. Because You're not chasing that insulin spike all day. I, exactly. It decreases your hunger hormone. It satisfies you like fat does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, so making sure you get that protein in the morning is awesome. And that sucker is packed with protein. And my husband took it to work the other day and warmed it up and he literally texted me and was like, OMG, this quiche. And he was in love with it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, 99% fat-free turkey. When he bought that, he was like, this stuff tastes like rubber. And I was like, watch me make it good. Yeah. Now he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Just 
just those little choices, and it's so easy to so make. So many and, little choices. And there's so much on the internet nowadays. You can just Google, you know, high protein, you TikTok. know, low carb. Yeah. So oh, check out yeah. hers. Stuff on TikTok. Yeah. She does stuff all I the time. Make these, yeah, I make these TikTok videos, but sometimes when I'm scrolling through and I want some new ideas, I'll search high protein on TikTok mm -hmm. and there's high protein meals all the time. My videos are some of them, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of different high protein on there. It's just so easy to use the resources now. Being healthy isn't as hard as it used to be. Yeah, because it's so available. Making it sustainable isn't as hard as it used to be. Knowledge is power. We just need, we just mm -hmm. need to do a little research figure out a couple little things that you love that works in your diet, zero sugars, less fats, and then you make them your staples and then you don't have to pay attention anymore because you know what's healthy that you like. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a little break, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about how to look at labels and make some better choices. Be right back. I was so excited for Ryder to get home and try this flavor because I knew he would love it. The fruits and greens. It's strawberry and kiwi flavored. He throws it in the glass. He loves this little stir. It creates a tornado. It's all about the fun. Fruits, veggies, fun. Hello. Let's do it. Fills it up to the tip top because that's satisfying, right? I knew as soon as he grabbed that straw he was going to love it, but I didn't think he'd have the whole glass down in under three minutes. His whole daily servings of fruits and veggies. Done. Hi, welcome back to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. And I'm Crystal. We have a great show. We are talking about how to cut weight. Yes. And so really in the world of, do you need to lose weight? Do you need to just get healthy? What's the best way to do that? And I think people are so overwhelmed because where do you start? And when you buy into, we call this the naked truth about health, wellness, and lifestyle. The naked truth is that you are being duped by the world and the food industry. Literally. And there's answers and it's all there. And Crystal's gonna talk a little bit about some strategies today and she's a personal trainer. And there are strategies, but right. knowledge is power and you have to know it or you'll just continue to spiral into the weight gain cycle. Yep, that's what I ask myself all the time. Is that like when I'm driving through town and there's fast food and I'm like starving, but all I see is like there's a McDonald's. I'm, uh, that's not even worth the, that is not even worth it. <laughs> not even worth it. And one of the things that happens just from a nerdy science aspect is that people are like, well, I had that pizza and I lost all my ground. What happened was that food was junk food. It triggered inflammation, it triggered cortisol. And we're born with all the, fat, all the adipocytes where we're gonna have the fat cells. What happens is they either shrink or swell. Right. So you have that inflammation, you're eating that junk, all that sugar, all your fat cells, swell right so you've got swollen fat They're cells reacting. So it takes days for that inflammation <laughs> mm -hmm. to go down so that's why you quote think you've blown your diet right you haven't gained more adipocytes just get back on track 
just get, get back, back on track. track. It's not it's not a derailment. Just get right back on track. It'll even itself out. Don't punish yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't have a no eating day. Just get right back on track. It's a okay. It's oh not yeah. A deal. And then you just think, well, and then sometimes it's a, such a vicious cycle that you think, oh, I'll just screw it. I'm just gonna eat what I want right. to. And right. Right. You're... And then you're 17 Oreos deep. Yeah. <laughs> and before you and you look up and you're 60 pounds overweight. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's true. It happens to probably 90% of the mm-hmm. people watching right now. Mm-hmm. It happens to all of us. It happened to me. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I have. I've been I have. there. Yes. I have. And it's just crazy. We were talking to about, you know, getting a trainer that you respond well with. I think in anything in life, education is everything. And so I remember having teachers when I was in school, when I was little, and I'd get a good teacher and I would excel. And then I'd get a teacher who really didn't give a crap or who was mean. And it made me feel stupid because our learning styles were different. Mm -hmm. And so I think when you're working with a coach, which I highly recommend because it gives you motivation and accountability. And, but it has to be the right one. So if you've ever tried a coach in the past and thought, well, that didn't really work out, you probably just didn't have the right one. Right. And people have all these excuses like, I don't have time. It must be expensive to get a coach. What is your health worth? Do you know what well, is? No kidding. It's I mean, at the doctor's office. How many times do we go out to dinner on a Friday night and spend, I don't know, minimum fifty dollars, minimum fifty dollars, mm-hmm. right? And a, a training session is cost about that, mm-hmm. but we don't think twice about going yep. out to dinner on Friday night, do we? You know yep. what I mean? But you think, oh, I don't want to spend that on a training session. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So. I also don't want to look in the mirror and hate looking in the mirror the rest of my Mm -hmm. life. So I think that it's totally worth it. You know what I mean? That money to me is 100% worth the happiness that it brings. Yeah. And in my clinic, I get all the people that are, they say, you're my last resort. And sometimes they come and they're relatively healthy. They're not quite there. And they say, well, I'm not sick enough for you yet. And that just hurts my soul because I'm like, okay, well, when you finally get what you feel to be sick enough for me, what are we dealing with yes. at that point? And it makes my life so much easier when they come. You let's know, prevent when the they, sick enough. Let's prevent the sick enough. <laughs> yeah. and we were talking about that of having a coach is also that form is very important because so a lot important. of people hurt themselves and then they don't They complete. get discouraged. They get discouraged. And they stop. Or you have yep. to go have surgery or something. No and so mm-hmm. having somebody say, put your butt down is well worth at least an occasional consult. Or even I mean, with I probably trainer. went, I probably went to the gym for two years exercising, but not knowing what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Was I losing weight and burning calories? Sure. Mm-hmm. But when it got to the point of actually building muscle and putting on and, and that being working what I was doing, right? Mm -hmm. Learning form and mind a muscle and which muscle is doing what and why we're doing it is a game changer. And we're, we don't, we're not born with that knowledge. And that's what my job is. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching you all of this while we're working out. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching you form. I'm teaching you the muscle we're supposed to be looking. I'm teaching you the mind to muscle connection. Those things you just don't know how to do. I had someone text me today that was like, I walked in the gym last week and I, I I had no idea what to do, so I turned around and walked out. Yeah, that happens like, all the time. No mm-hmm. idea what to do, and th- go from no idea what to do, let alone proper form. Yeah, I mean, psh, mind blown. I can't do that. You know what I mean? I think that mind and muscle is very important. So important because one thing is people know their problem areas. So, mm-hmm. like as I'm aging, you know, being in my fifties, strength and um, agility is very important. I don't want to fall and break a hip. You know, I experience family history right. with those issues. Make it through so the winter core, where you slip on ice. Core yeah. is very important. So when I'm doing, you know, my crunches and stuff, I literally feel my abs so that I can make sure that I'm getting that yes. form. You know, it's very important that I don't get that sag that grandmas get, you know, that flab back that there. Teacher arm, so when yeah. I'm doing my triceps, and it's interesting because Donnie was doing his triceps the other night, and that just that little trick about putting your thumb on there, yep. on the front of the barbell, yep. Yeah. Really, I could feel my triceps it's so crazy. much more. So it's I'm learning crazy. from you too. I love it. I so love it. So you might have family members that could benefit yeah. from you having a trainer too, and just because watching and learning the videos. Watching for and sure. learning. Yeah, I mean, you could be paying for one person to get personal training, but four of you are right. and doing yeah. it as a family. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Cheat the system. A you know how many girls that I've had? Because um, I'm we're big on booty. So how many girls that I've had that? that I've been showing to do certain RDLs or glute bridges the right way. And they're like, 
I've been doing this wrong for two years. Yeah, and they don't have a booty yet until yeah, they work with exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> okay, they're saying it's time to take a little break. We're going to take a little break and we're going to come back and we're going to talk. We've talked about form and exercise and working with a trainer. We're going to talk a little bit about choices in the kitchen and the pantry because there are some things that will blow you away that you might not even be thinking about or even thinking about it at all. So right. we're going to bring some mindfulness. So we'll be right back with the Naked Doctor. So honestly, they keep me level. I feel good um, in those times that I that I have little dips of feeling tired or not on top of it. You know, I can just reach out to them and they'll check my blood work and they'll tweak whatever needs to be tweaked. And um, I'm 57 and they just keep me feeling good. They offer so many services um, for that helps me and my actually my entire family, but. Um, you know, sometimes I just feel ran down and I can call and say, hey, you know, here's, here's what I'm feeling. Again, they'll check my blood work and today I'm just getting uh, an IV uh, that's got some vitamin C and some vitamins just to, just to help me, you know, feel better through the allergy season and just have some more energy. Um, they are so personable. They're actually, you know, I call them my family. They feel like my family. Uh, they really, really care about their patients. I have a great relationship with them. And that's so hard to find in this day and age that we live, uh, to find someone that has an interest, whether it's eight o'clock at night or if it's you know eight o'clock in the morning. I know that they're always there and I know they care and they really, really want me to feel better. And that's so hard to find, so I'm very, very grateful for that. I was so excited for Ryder to get home and try this flavor because I knew he would love it. The fruits and greens, it's strawberry and kiwi flavored. He throws it in the glass, he loves this little stir, it creates a tornado. It's all about the fun. Fruits, veggies, fun, hello, let's do it. Fills it up to the tip top because that's satisfying, right? I knew as soon as he grabbed that straw he was gonna love it, but I didn't think he'd have the whole glass down in under three minutes. His whole daily servings of fruits and veggies, done. Hi, welcome back to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. And I'm Crystal. And we are talking about some great things today. Mostly, we had a show one time about excuses and we're kind of trying to blow some of those myths away. And number right. one is people think losing weight takes a long time. And we've blown that myth because you're, you're a competition girl. And right. you know we know some of these athletes can lose 15 pounds in a day. We don't want you to do that. But I mean, it's it comes off fa fast. Right. And so, Doing things like eating healthier can decrease the inflammation, which makes your fat cells shrink more. And so just that knowledge is power kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, you talked about making your quiche and high protein and some of those things that kind of start your day off right. Yeah, we have tons of options. I mean, it's literally just about knowledge is power. We say this mm -hmm. all the time. It's like our favorite thing. But just knowing, and, and everyone thinks, I don't wanna have to read every label for the rest of my life. You don't. All you gotta do is find the basic things that you like, you know what I mean? Like, I know that I love taco sauce, so I'm gonna find my one go-to healthy taco mm -hmm. sauce, you know what I mean? I know Hershey's chocolate syrup, get this. So at protein is a big thing, I need to mm -hmm. hit my protein goals. So if at night I haven't hit my protein goals, I'm gonna make a protein brownie. Mm -hmm. Protein brownies don't taste the best. They're yeah. not awful, but they don't taste the best. You know what I mean? And so, we're pushing protein because protein builds muscle, which burns fat for you, but also gives you that lean look that you're looking absolutely. for. So I just want to kind of absolutely. throw that in because we keep and, saying protein. Right, protein, protein. and the more protein, the less carbs. It just naturally comes mm -hmm. together. So we that's great and too. And then you don't have to count all those macros and micros. Literally. Just focus on your proteins, yes. decrease in your carbs. Yes, it's then it's hard. a positive, positive protein mm -hmm. versus a negative low carb. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, and like I said, and this is zero sugar Hershey syrup. No, I didn't even know this existed. I didn't even know this was mm -hmm. a thing until I went looking for and it. And of course, the nerdy scientist in me that promotes health, I had to look at it and make sure there wasn't aspartame right. in it or She's an like, artificial is there aspartame? 
first thing on it, aspartame free. I was ready to toss it in the back. So I'm like, okay, that can come to the table. And it's great. I mean, we're talking two grams of carbs versus a serving of this regular chocolate syrup. 25 grams of carbs per serving on this. Mm. That's craziness. Crazy the difference. Five calories versus a hundred calories per serving. So it's just knowing, knowing labels. So now I know I can keep this in the fridge and I'm a okay. I don't need to read labels again with this anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now yeah. I'm off the hook. Taco sauce. I love me some taco sauce. You wouldn't think this jalapeno sauce is any different than this regular taco sauce, but the jalapeno sauce that sucker is hiding 10 grams of fat per serving. Why? Mm. We don't know. <laughs> this one, zero Makes grams of fat better, per serving. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So you're just like, just reading the little labels. So now I know, mm, we're probably not going to use that one too much. My go-to is going to be this one. Every now yeah. and then I'll get that sucker out. It's like ketchup out, and mustard. Like there's like six grams of sugar and one teaspoon of ketchup. That's why kids mustard love it. Mustard has like none. Yeah. I know. Right? Yeah. That's why kids will eat a bottle of ketchup because yeah. it's sugar, <laughs> sugar, right? And general towel sauce. You know, throw this on some chicken. It makes it fantastic. Healthy doesn't have to be boring. This is what I'm talking about. And the sugars here are four grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. A lot of these sauces are like 20 grams, 16 grams of sugar for these I mean tons of sugar in these sauces so it's just like I said just finding a few go-to's is what mm. makes everything so easy and don't think that just because you're eating salads you're eating healthy because if you're eating a bunch of fat or sugar I actually thought about that with Donnie's lunch today when I took it he wanted honey mustard dressing and I thought oh my gosh I'm taking a salad and then we're throwing all the sugar on right. top of it so yeah. I'm gonna be more mindful of that but see it too. takes little steps for you to even think oh my gosh yeah. I need to be you more have mindful. to step into the decision exactly you first stepped into the salad mm -hmm. and that was a great decision mm -hmm. and then now you're like wait a minute yeah let me look I, at this I'm throwing skittles on top of this salad <laughs> what am I doing you know what I mean so it's 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 those little processes that mm -hmm. you learn and you learn and you learn and it gets so much it easier builds. it really gets so much easier so we promise we're getting close to the end we promise we give you three things and tips that you can right. take so we talked about the first one focus on your protein number two is that we track. want to try some my Use fitness the pal there's a couple apps mm -hmm. there's my fitness pal there's healthy with an ie at the end there's weight watchers there's noom use you a tracking app it helps you be mindful mm -hmm. it's great it's a great process and to learn number three is gut health probiotics are so important fruits and greens we love this our kids love this it's our carmel uh, health and wellness uh, brand and we just love it we really went for taste but we it's got 20 plus servings so of fruits and vegetables <laughs> so if you have trouble getting your kids to eat fruits and vegetables right. my son's super picky and your son yes, loves my it my 11 year old loves it literally loves it. yes so, Making it easy. I mean, there are some things, you know, that you'll get on the internet or something that are cheap brands and stuff. So just be mindful. You want good yeah. quality. It really does matter. Taste is everything. They want to keep doing it. Yeah. So. He has no idea it's healthy. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, and we won't tell him. We've had a great show today and it always feels like it's not enough time I and know. I feel like we're rushing, but we uh, want to get the information out there as much as we can, even if it's in a little burst. We love you very much. You can look for us at thenakeddoctorshow.com. We have uh, Facebook page and all sorts of social media. YouTube, our shows are on there. And Crystal, I'll let you uh, TikTok. Yes, and I'm on TikTok and Instagram, Garage Rats NWA. You can look me up on there. I have tons of videos for workouts, sustainable foods, good choices. So go check it out. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all have a blessed week. Mwah. Thanks.